Oh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of light, this is Supreme Dragon, one half of Hidden Dragon. Coming at you today with my uh, Yosinju uh, deck profile for April 1st ban for the April ban list. Don't forget, like and subscribe buttons are down below. Be sure to leave a comment with what you think of my Yosinju deck profile. Be sure to check us out on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content. Be sure to check out DavidAdamsCarWorld.com, Facebook, and eBay. All three links are in the description down below. So without further ado, I run 3 comma 1. As long as you control another Yosinju monster, this card can compulse any uh, monster on your opponent's side of the field. Or is it just any face-up card? Any face-up card they control. Okay. 3 comma 2. This card can attack directly, but if you do it, uh, attack is cut in half. Three comma threes. This lets you search when another Yosinju does battle damage. One Sujik, kind of like their version of Honest. When it's summoned, you can either you can choose another Yosinju or itself and boost its attack by a thousand, or discard it during the battle damage step and boost your Yosinju's by a thousand. I run two L's, so I am running the Pendulum version, and the reason why I just really like it. So, L's, while it's uh, as a monster effect, can't be, uh, no other Yosinjus can be targeted except this one. So if you have both of them on field, they can't target anything. Uh, while it's in the pendulum scale, if it's a scale of three, so if uh, one of your Yosinjus would be destroyed, you can destroy that card instead. I run three R's. R's is the one that lets you boost your pendulum scale from five to eleven, but you can only special summon uh, Yosinjus that turn. And what if it's on the field, uh, it, no other Yosinjus can be targeted for attack except this one. So if you have two on the field, you've kind of created a uh, battle lock to where they can't attack anything. And two diebacks. Love dieback. Uh, it's, when it's summoned as Pendulum Summoned, uh, you can bounce any two cards on the field. So if you happen to have a Tinky, you can bounce it. Activate your Tinky once again, do your search, and go from there or it can bounce two of your opponent's cards or anything like that. While it's in the pendulum zone, all your Sinjus gain a 300 attack boost during that battle phase, so that's always good. And one Thunder King, just to kind of help out with the stun feature of the deck. That does it for the monster count. Spells. Three Tinkies. They're all beast, all the level fours are beast warriors, so that's searched them out. Three dualities, because you do a lot of normal summoning in this deck and not a whole lot of special summoning. Two training grounds, I like this at two. I had it at three, but two seems to work a lot better. Uh, you don't, since you're already, you're gonna be using a lot of your spell and trap card zones anyway for your other floodgates, so two works really well. Uh, one counter, remove it. They gain 300 attack during that battle phase, or remove three and search out a any Yosinju card. But if you activate one, you can't activate the other. Uh, two dark holes, because like I said, all of them return to hand, so they're never on field to get hit by this. One divine win, uh, that costs at the end of the turn, you can bounce, when they bounce back, summon one of your L's or R's, and that way you can kind of at least put up a little bit of defense for the next turn. One dimensional fissure, because banishing cards is good. And one Raigeki, because that's all we're allowed to have, and it's really good. For traps, Three, three secret moves. Uh, it's their version of Alpha, except uh, no drawing or having to tribute off a monster. As just as long as you control another Yosinju card. So Training Grounds does not work for this, but if you have one of your Pendulum cards in there, that works. And or all your monsters have to be Yosinjus. So if you have uh, L or R in the Pendulum Zone, you can activate this because it meets the requirement. Or if you happen to have all your monsters are Yosinjus at the time, this also works. 3D Prisons, because like I said, banishing cards is good. Two Mistakes. Since you, The only card that really searches off of here is Training Grounds and Common 3, so you don't really, and Tinky, so you don't really hurt yourself a whole lot. But uh, that's why I only run it at 2. Because I have had situations where I've had this active and then my next two draws were Tinky and Pot of Duality and I couldn't do anything with them. So I like it at two. That's really good. Uh, for the one of one Compulse. 
one bottomless, one torrential, one macro, one vanities, one warning. That does it for the main deck. Now for the extra deck, got one Shidori, number 80. This was funny the other day. Uh, I pulled, I'd already had uh, Shidori on the field, so the next turn I made uh, number 80. Banished two cards, attached it to this. I had a 3100 attack lightning Shidori. Cowboy, Castell, Harpy's Pet Phantasmal Dragon. Awesome card to pull out here. It's not hard to pull up three monsters on the field. That's three straight turns of 2k attack. Dire Wolf, because this is Wing Beasts uh, and Beast Warriors, so you're good to go on there. Excuse me, Beast Warriors, not Wing Beast. Dark Rebellion Dragon, to get over uh, high attack powered cards. Karen Gorgon, because you want to keep your stuff on the field. Abyss Dweller, because effects in Graveyard are bad. Number 82, Heartland Draco. As long as you have Tinky on the field, they can't attack you, and you can attack them directly. So it provides a nice little wall for a little bit. 101, because it's still good to still um, special summon monsters in an attack position. Deltaros. Uh, might be coming out for something else, but for right now, I like Deltaros in there. Uh, simply because... I can uh, do some different things with it. If they go to summon anything, I can negate it. Activate a spell or trap, I can negate it. So that really works. Uh, 103 for like the mirror match or anything that boosts attack like Clee Force. Though I think they're pretty much dead right now. Uh, number 104, Masquerade. Uh, in case they activate anything during the battle damage step, I can uh, negate, deal 800 damage. And once per turn, I can send the top card of their deck to the graveyard, so it kind of helps mill them out faster. And finally, Exiton Knight, because it's good to blow stuff up. I do not have a side deck per se, but currently in there, I have uh, my three Tangus, uh, one Training Ground, and a Creature Swap. Very good card right now with this deck. You can switch uh, control of one of yours to them. Uh... Take control of one of their high-powered monsters, end your turn, your Yosinju's return back to hand, even though it's on their side of the field, and you still have their monster in your on your field. So, that is my Yosinju deck profile. Don't forget, like and subscribe buttons are down below. Leave a comment with what you think of the deck. Leave me a comment with uh, any other side deck cards you feel like are notable of running in this deck. Be sure to check us out on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays for more videos. Check out eBay, Facebook, and davidamscarwell.com. Their links are in the description down below. And this is Supreme Dragon, one half of Hidden Dragon, signing out.